Imagine unlocking the brain's potential to heal and function better using the power of near-infrared light. But for this technology to be effective, light must penetrate the brain at sufficient intensity. This is where irradiance, the intensity of light, becomes crucial. What is irradiance? It's the intensity of light energy, the amount of power delivered to a specific area. If the light is too weak, it won't penetrate deeply enough to activate brain cells. To put irradiance into perspective, sunlight at sea level has an irradiance of about 50 to 100 milliwatts per square centimeter. A useful benchmark for understanding light intensity. For photobiomodulation to be effective, brain PBM devices should emit a higher irradiance than sunlight to provide more than what is available for free by walking outside. Additionally, some studies suggest that an irradiance stronger than sunlight is necessary for PBM's effectiveness. For example, research from the University of Texas at Arlington examined different irradiance levels and wavelengths. The study found that 1,064 nanometer and 810 nanometer lasers with an irradiance range of 190 to 220 milliwatts per square centimeter and an 810 nanometer LED with an irradiance of 135 milliwatts per square centimeter produced increased hemodynamic oxygenation activity. In this study, an irradiance greater than sunlight was utilized to trigger these hemodynamic effects. Recently, the PBM Foundation, in coordination with Electronic Laboratories and Megalab, photonics firms, tested the V-Light Neuro against two PBM helmets, the Suiziko NIR helmet and the Neuronic Neuradiant. The results were interesting. In two separately conducted measurement tests to ensure results were reproducible, the V-Light Neuro delivered 200 to 300% of peak sunlight's irradiance, while the other devices fell behind, producing less than 9% of sunlight's irradiance on average. These engineering measurement reports are available in the description section. Additionally, Uniformed Services University, part of the U.S. military health system, captured images of the V-Light Neuro, highlighting the importance of near-infrared irradiance for penetration through the skull. To further highlight the importance of irradiance through comparison, V-Light's technology is supported by a diverse range of 20 peer-reviewed research studies and major clinical trials, involving over 500 participants. On the other hand, the Neuronic and Suziko helmets are featured in just one published peer-reviewed study each, one for long COVID and the other for temperature measurement, with fewer than eight participants in their groups. V-Light achieves its laser-like irradiance levels through its innovative V-LED technology, which consolidates power into a few highly specialized, high-intensity diodes. V-LED lenses are specifically designed to bypass hair and target critical brain networks delivering optimal irradiance while minimizing heat. V-Light technology holds medical device licenses, including FDA registration and Health Canada approval. Understanding and optimizing irradiance is the key to unlocking the full potential of photobiomodulation. With well-researched technology like the V-Light Neuro, we're advancing safe, effective brain health solutions powered by the science of light.